In 2022, we reimagined frostbites and shifted into a two-year cycle. Sort of taking this idea of site-specific and shifting into community-specific, um, it deepens it. It prioritizes the people who live and are around any given site. The first year was about meeting up with the community of change makers in Hamilton, uh, sharing space with each other, forming relationships. In winter 2023, it'll be about building on that community cultivation and inviting more people in to platform local communities, local people, local issues uh, through arts. Hamilton got uh, named the hate crime capital, I believe of Ontario or Canada. It might be Canada. And the division is something that I clearly see in Hamilton. Given that uh, so many of our children were being found in unmarked graves across this country, how do we create space for our community and help them heal through this? To be in community with one another, it matters and it means something. Um, and right now, with the pace of change downtown, with the way that property value is changing and gentrification is taking an impact, those spaces are, are gone. We're, we're constantly kind of processing uh, what has occurred, what is occurring, what might happen. And we're left in isolation to deal with these things alone. The amount of work, the shouldered activism, advocacy, community work, volunteering, alleyway cleanups, whatever you want to call them, right, that the citizens of this city have taken on for decades is extraordinary. But to be able to pull people from all over Hamilton to have little seeds in the community of, hey, now you know. We need to co-create and we need to abolish some things and redesign them uh, together. When you lift up people, you lift us all up, that we're not, you know, separate from each other. And that, uh, yeah, that's the part. And then there's this kind of collective critical consciousness where people understand their social conditions by sharing stories and experiences with others. Uh, I think that is something that keeps a lot of people going. And so giving them something that's worth talking about, giving them something that they can bring home is, is what I'd like to feel in Hamilton. I would see people, uh, you know, along the side of the road, uh, or around Jackson Square that I perceived as unhoused. And I wondered what my role in the situation, in my city, what I was supposed to be doing as an artist. It's, it has changed the kind of art I make.